Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to Cooking with Albi. So as you read the title today, we're going to do a very good dip named tzatziki. So this dip is uh, originally from Greece, you know, one of my favorite country. And we're going to make this uh, beautiful dip today. Uh, so let's check out of the ingredients before uh, we start anything. So for our tzatziki today, we're going to use some fresh dill here. I have some mint, I have some garlic, this is some Greek yogurt, I have cucumber, some lime, olive oil, pepper and salt. So that's the only things that's going to my tzatziki. And just to have something to dip with at the end of this video, we we'll make also some uh, vegetable sticks and we also have some breadstick right there. So let's start right now guys, let's start making this tzatziki. So what we're going to do uh, first, so we're going to take care of this garlic. So first I'm going to peel it. Just going to remove the germ on the inside, just like that. Okay, and then I'm going to use my garlic smasher. And smash my garlic just like that. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to put some lime juice on my garlic. Why? Because the, the lime juice is going to uh, cook a little my, uh, my garlic so that way I don't have that much of a raw garlic taste <coughs> with my tzatziki. You know, so this, I'm gonna put it on the side so my garlic kind of cook. Now, what we're we going to do, guys, we're going to take care of the cucumber. So, we, what we want in this uh, tzatziki is to have some uh, like shaved cucumber. So, what we're going to do first, we're going to split it in two. Then, with a spoon, I'm just going to remove the seeds because I don't want it in my tzatziki and it's really watery. So, I don't want all this water in my yogurt. Okay, so what I'm going to do, guys, now I'm going to use the grater and I'm just shred it. It's like this. That's what you need to get. You see some shredded cucumber. There you go. So as you can see, guys, as soon as I'm done doing this, you see, you see a lot of water here. You see? See a lot of water. Why? Because you know the, the cucumber. I mean, it's made of like 90% of water. So that's why I have a lot of water here. And as I said, I don't really want it in my yogurt. So what I'm going to do now, I'm not going to remove the water first. I'm going to season with some salt and pepper my cucumber. And so what's going to happen? The uh, salt is going to make all the water of the cucumber come out. So We'll check in two minutes and you see like the, the cucumber we really have released so much water. So let's keep it on the side for now. What we're going to do guys, we're going to take care of our herbs. So here I have my mint. So I'm just going to use only my leaves. Slice my meat as thin as I can, okay? So don't over chop the meat, otherwise it will turn black. So that's really important that you don't over chop your meat. So I'm just slicing it into the side. That's it. So now I'm going to take out my deal. Alright, so now guys. Chop it. So you don't need to be really thin, you just chop it a little just like that. Then you can mix up your herbs. It's not a problem. Now, um, what we're going to do, we're going to uh, cut our veggie sticks so that way our cucumber is still gonna marinate with our salt, release this water, so we have time to uh, do our veggies. So, what I chose today, but it's up to you, I chose some uh, red bell pepper, I have some carrots, some cucumber, you can use some celery sticks. I also have some uh, radishes and some cherry tomatoes, but after it's up to you. So, first, guys, I'm just going to peel 
my carrots. So today I pick those uh, carrots in purpose. Why? Because you see I have this little uh, stem right here. So it's gonna look nice on my plate. Cause I'm gonna keep it on it. And on top of that, those carrots are small, so it's always better. Okay, so now we're going to slice our carrots. So I'm gonna keep some of these and then I'm just going to slice my carrot in two. Just like that. Okay. So now I have my carrots for my sticks. Now I'm going to do some um, bell pepper. So I'm just going to do a little bit today. So I'm just going to make a slice here, just take off a little bit this white part right there, okay, and then just going to slice some sticks, okay, so now I'm going to make some cucumber sticks. So if you guys watched some previous video, we already learned how to make some cucumber sticks, but just in case, see, just cut all the skin parts around the seeds. This part you don't keep it because it's too watery, too much seeds. And then just cut your sticks just like that. Now, so guys, I picked some radishes. So this, you can just leave them like this. Just make sure that this root right there, take it off. Because this, you cannot eat it. And I'm just going to add some chili tomato, just to complete my veggies. So here, this will be our veggies for today for our uh, tzatziki. All right guys, so now that we have our veggie sticks ready, it's time to check our tzatziki. So as you can see, this cucumber that I season right here, you can see, look, when I'm pressing it, can you guys see all the water's coming out? Okay, so that's exactly why I did that, because you see when I press it with my hand? Imagine all this water in my yogurt, you know, that's obviously not good, right? So that's why we did this so that's really important guys that you don't skip this step okay so now this water i mean i'm not gonna keep it but if you want to make some green juice for example maybe you can keep it so let's see now let's finish our tzatziki now because we did everything we needed to do so here i have my yogurt guys so what i'm going to do i'm just going to add all my components so i have my uh, cucumber right here so as you can see, you know, I pressed it, so now there is no more water inside this cucumber. Okay. Also, uh, we shred this uh, cucumber because it makes our tzatziki more chunky. And that's really important to have some chunks in this tzatziki. So now I'm adding my herbs. I'm adding also my garlic with my lime juice. I'm going to add some pepper, some salt, and a coffee spoon of olive oil. And now guys, all our ingredients are inside my little ramekin, so now all I have to do is to just mix up all these ingredients and my tzatziki will be ready. So I'm sure you can see all those herbs and the cucumber that make this, you know, tzatziki just chunky, you know, it's not just plain yogurt, there is actually a lot of stuff inside. Hi right, guys, so this tzatziki is almost ready. All uh, we need to do now, I mean, we don't have to redo it, but what I'm going to do, I'm just gonna, you know, chop some more, uh, 
some more deal just add it here on top add some more deal like this in the middle add a little touch of olive oil so that way you know my tzatziki can look more yummy and a bit of pepper just like that and so now guys we can say that our tzatziki is ready so let's here's what can, we can do there we go guys here we have our tzatziki and veggie sticks perfect for um, your guests you know when you invite some people over and you just want to have a little bite before uh, you eat you know with a little drink that's the perfect dip right there why because it's healthy everybody loves that I mean you're eating vegetables you're eating breadsticks it's it's perfect so guys make this at home because trust me it's one of the best recipe of the tzatziki you find so Please subscribe to this channel if you didn't do it yet. Thank you for watching guys and see you soon on my channel Cooking with Albi. See you soon guys, bye. All right, so it's time to try guys. So let me get uh, some breadstick first. So let's dig into this um, tzatziki. Mm. That's one good tzatziki. Mm. Very fresh. So good, guys. So, this, with this, guys, I see a pool or maybe a beach, summer, a nice glass of rose wine, a tzatziki, some friends, family, and you're close to paradise, you know? So, don't wait too long and make this right now and impress your guests.